Welcome to this tutorial about how to set up alarms for the XProtect clients. In this tutorial, first we'll set up an alarm in the management client and then test it in the XProtect web client. We want an alarm to appear when someone approaches the back entry of a building where we've positioned a camera. In this reenactment, a man walks up to the back entry. Before creating the alarm, let's create a basic user in the management client for the purpose of testing the alarm. Select the role and add a new basic user to the role. Next, make sure that the role is authorized to access the camera. Check that the role has view and manage rights for alarms. Then check that the role has at least read, playback, read sequences, and export rights for the camera called back entry. When you're done, save the changes. Finally, make sure that the role is authorized to log in to XProtect Web Client. Now we'll create an alarm that appears when the camera detects motion. First, go to Alarm Definitions and add a new alarm. To select a specific event, first you must select the overall event category. In this case, we'll select System Events and Motion Detected. Next, select the source, in this case, the camera. Note that the time limit is activated only when you specify an event that will be triggered if the time limit has been exceeded. Selecting the source is not enough. To play back the recordings from the motion detected event, you must specify the camera again in the related cameras list. When you're done, save the changes. Let's check that the user can see and respond to the alarm in XProtect Web Client. After logging in, go to the Alarms tab. The alarms in the list are caused by the alarm that we defined in the management client. Now we can respond to the alarm and view the recorded video associated with it. Thank you for watching this tutorial about how to set up alarms for the XProtect clients.